the want of factor we are using to find out the abnormal molecular mass. The simple formula is that normal molecular mass divided by absorbed molecular mass and I we are using when there is an association or dissociation takes place in the acid or acids and in solution and then mass is changes mass is changed suppose that if we will take that whenever there is association or dissociation will come then the mass is changing and mass is changing then I is changing then all the colligative property will be changing uh, we will adjust to do the change in the colligative property also suppose that if that we will take ethanoic acid in ethanoic acid its molar mass is 60 and when we will take that ethanoic acid there is a association takes place in ethanoic acid and its mass will increase to the hydrogen bond and this will also becomes the dimer CH3CWH its mass is now 60 this mass will become 120 and due to association its mass is not the normal molar mass this is the normal molar mass and this is observed molar mass after the association becomes 120 now come with the I normal molar mass that goes with the normal molar mass in the case of ethanoic acid which we have taken that is coming the 60 and absorbed molar mass after the association that is coming 120 now it comes to you half means of that when the value of i is coming there less than one association takes place association takes place and now the value of i is coming greater than one then dissociation takes place and when I becomes one, no association, no dissociation, no association, no dissociation will come, takes place. So I plays an important role to find out the colligative property also. We will see that how I use in the colligative property. I can be calculated by the two formulas number one is that which we discuss normal molar mass divided by absorbed molar mass or I can also be calculated in the case of association or dissociation suppose that dissociation takes place and we have to find out the value of I A and stand dissociates and then gives you an A earlier initial concentration is 1 it's 0 it will break down alpha 1 minus alpha and it becomes n alpha then now the major formula of i that is the because i the total moles before dissociation or association and number of moles number of moles after dissociation after dissociation you will see that i comes to you 1 minus alpha plus n alpha divided by 1 plus 0 means of that 1 and it goes to you i minus 1 n alpha minus 1 alpha you solve this one and then you also find out i value we have discussed here then alpha is also coming alpha is coming i minus 1 upon n minus 1 and i hope so that you know very well 
the alpha that is the degree of dissociation you must have done in the 11th chemical equilibrium from the Oswald dilution law then the second is that in the case of association how we will find out the value of i and alpha now reverse of this one takes place and we will go with this one suppose n molecule of a comes together and form a molecule of n initial concentration is 1 and this is 0 after association 1 minus alpha that is how many of alpha by n how many of this one join then we have to find out the value of i from that same formula it comes to you 1 minus alpha plus alpha by n divided by 1 plus 0 and then you will find out the value of alpha you calculate this one i minus 1 and 1 by n minus 1 come 1 by n minus 1 this is how you are finding the value of alpha and finding the value of i this is one of the important factors be with me we will use the value of i in the colligative property yes my dear students now in the colligative property we are using i also delta tf depression in fusion or uh, delta tb elevation in burning point that kpm we have done now delta tb is equal to i kpm you must take care and solve the numerical in this way suppose that he is asking the i now i can this bit by this formula delta tb divided by kbm now if he will ask to you that find out that i delta tb is equal to kbm and then you can do one another formula you know very well that ke is equal to c alpha square from Oswald dilution law and alpha is equal ka by c and now you will know very well in the case of dissociation alpha is equal to i minus 1 n minus 1 you can find out the value of i here and n stand if ap type salt is there suppose that n is here then i goes for 2 if ap2 type salt is there suppose that mgcl2 then it n is coming 3 this is the case cases which we have to find out the value of i suppose that we will do one more formula delta tf is equal to i kf m and you have to find i and you know very well i is equal to normal molar mass divided by observed molar mass my dear students normal molar mass is given or you can find out in the case of suppose that if it is acetic acid its mass is given 60 but now you have to find out the observed molar mass how could you find out the observed molar mass take the formula of molarity or molality whatsoever you are using we are using here uh, molality definitely and uh, in the case of molality the given mass by molar mass now 1 by kilogram of the solvent it may be this is the you know formula of molality come next from uh, suppose that delta tb is equal to i kbm is given now you have to find out the <coughs> observed molar mass you have to go with this one molar mass and then comes to you observed molar mass is coming in this way i kb given mass must be given to you then delta tb and kilogram of the solvent this will comes to you observed molar mass then i is equal to normal molar mass and then put here observed molar mass by calculating the formula so you can solve the numericals also
and if you feel any difficulty in any numerical please contact with me i will give you some numericals also in the next class thank you very much thank you